Yeah. Right. Okay. So for today, we explore some of the smart art graphics options. Um, Excel really has a colorful and extensive set of visual tools called smart art, and the, they're found on the insert tab right here. Well, depending on which version of Excel you're using, you might not see this feature at first. Um, so if you have the latest Office 365 updates, you will see it under illustrations and then off to the right, smart art. So what you may, what you will find is probably over 100, maybe 200 different kinds of diagrams in this list. And if you slide up and down, you'll probably recognize this one or that one maybe. And they're categorized on the left uh, hand side. If you're only interested only in the cyclical type of processes, click that and you only see those choices. Each one of these um, option has its own description to the right. So for example, this diagram right here and they're colorful as well, no? And uh, you can select which colors you choose at the time. Suppose we're interested in creating an organization chart. So uh, we can select that icon to the left right here uh, suggests that's where we want to go. And we see 15 other choices here on the middle part of the screen. Suppose we'll use the first uh, first uh, option, first diagram, but the second one here has room for pictures. Um, and then the next one has uh, room even more for names and titles, right? So let's pick the first one. Um, you can double click it or click it and click OK. So I'm going to click, double click. Right. So you have a rough diagram here. Now, Dio Brandos, the CEO, let's copy his name, Control C, will click that top box right here and uh, Control V. Okay, let's, uh, let's make it uh, zoom it a little bit. Um, and then we'll click um, after pasting Dio Brando for the CEO up top here. Then we can proceed to the next. What we find is Giorno Giovanna as the next one being the legal advisor, same idea, control C, and then select this box right here, control B, V, and there we are. Um, and we might want to put these four names together. Control C, and then one by one, click these boxes right here, but we don't have a, notice that we don't have a four, fourth box out here. We've got four other people. Um, so what can we do? Take one of these boxes, the right one, maybe. And then we could either add, add a box to the right by clicking, right clicking, and then add shape, and then add shape after, how about after? Okay, that's one option. Um, well, I could click undo. And then there's another option. We could also have added a box from above. So clicking up here, right click, same thing, add shape and add shape after. Oh no, that's not what I desire. So how about let's um, click control Z for undo. So we can select this one uh, right here and then select the other option, add shape below, not after, okay? And there we have it. We have four, four boxes right here, but hey, let's go back to the data that we have. Let's highlight this data, this set of data right here on the left, and then we can select control C and then we we'll click the four bo boxes at the bottom using the control key for each one of them. And then control V, that's for paste. Okay, so the names are, of these people are already pasted on the right hand side of the diagram. Now we get extra boxes sometimes and uh, we may not 
see that coming, right? So we can always remove them as we desire. Easy, just like that, easy. Okay. So these are the kinds of things that happen if you work with this, no, yeah. But anyway, you can adjust as, as you desire. So on the next worksheet, what we are going to, to see right here is a set of processes, a set of procedures. So if you go to insert um, illustrations, back to the insert tab, illustrations, and then smart art, here you'll recognize there's a group called process, and then there's one called cycle. If it's cyclical, a process that repeats perhaps, you might be uh, interested in this, but we simply go to process, um, to the process category, and then try one of these, okay? Okay, how about the arrow? Okay, I click OK and then looks good. And then here to highlighting the data ahead of time, like we did earlier, we press Control C and then click the arrow here and then Control V. Okay, it put in some extra boxes, right? And we can always get rid of those. Unnecessary boxes. Oh, I click on do. That's too much. And then um, perhaps this is too squeezed. I'll make it wider. On both of uh, these diagrams that we just saw earlier, um, one is a chart, one is the organization chart, and then another is the process chart. We do have contextual uh, tabs that appear under the heading Smart Art. Okay, Smart Art Design. So we have, we can possibly reconsider other options. And uh, as we slide over some of these, um, it, it automatically shifts to the selected, the pre-selected option. It does not show everything, but I think we can get some ideas here to know on about me about maybe we should have chosen another option or not really and just leave it as is. And we can also jump over to other, other smart art styles. So here we can make it fancier slash glossier, make it 3D or make it uh, angled like this. Or maybe change the colors. We don't like the colors, you want it like this about the, this kind of accent or not really, we shift one to the other. So there are heaps of options no, for changing the appearances of this. So I personally think it's a valuable tool for illustrating work processes, organization charts, and lots of other possibilities all under the feature called Insert Illustrations Smart Art. And there you have it, darling friends. Um, if you enjoyed this video and you'd like to see similar videos in the future, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe to my YouTube channel down below and hit not the notification bell as well.